Kira, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> Thousand twenty one, boy, I tell you, Dante's Boxing Nation. What's going on, guys? Well, I guess you could say this is good news, but only good news for Errol Spence. Finally, Terence Crawford has agreed to give Errol Spence exactly what he asked for. Right after Errol Spence, he beat Danny Garcia. He was at the press conference and he was asked, "What did you think about Terence Crawford showing up at your fight?" Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and play the clip. And I want you guys to listen to how Errol Spence responded to the question. Um, but what did you think of, of Terrence showing up ringside? Do you think that helps build some buzz to, to, to make it a big fight? Uh, no. I mean, he got to live up to his words. If he if he say he's not worried about me, then I don't know why he's doing what, what he was doing here. I probably wouldn't go to none of his fights. So I'm not worried about Terrence Crawford. Like I said, I'm going to enjoy my time. So there it is. You guys heard it from Errol Spence. He said, I want Terrence Crawford to live up to his words, keep his word and not worry about me. In other words, stop bringing up my name. Stop calling me out. Don't worry about me. And finally, Terrence Crawford grants Errol Spence his wish. He just said this on Fight Hype when he was asked an Errol Spence question. You know, you don't need that. Do you, I don't are you for real? Are you, I, I know you don't. I know, but I'm are you for real about, about just forget it now? I'm and not don't. worried about that fight. I didn't told y'all numerous of times now. I'm not even worried about the fight. Still still down to do it, of course. Though, you, never, right? you, you, you never will see me asking for that fight ever again. You will never see me asking for that fight again, says Terrence Crawford. You know, guys, I had already told you in previous videos after watching Errol Spence's performance against Danny Garcia, I didn't think that he would personally be ready to get in there with Terrence Crawford in his very next fight because he gassed out towards the last quarter of that fight with Danny Garcia. So I personally believe that was not Errol Spence at 100%. So I would have expected the fight, Errol Spence fighting Terrence Crawford maybe after the Ugas fight because he's most likely gonna fight Ugas next. There's really no one else for him to fight if he's not gonna fight uh, Terrence Crawford. So I was expecting it after that. But now the way this is unraveling with Terrence Crawford saying that, don't ask me, I'm not even gonna talk about the fight anymore. You'll never hear me asking for that fight again. And with Errol Spence saying, you know, I'll give him 60-40 or shoot, I might even give him 70-30 or whatever it is we decide to give him an offer. When you hear what Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are saying, it seems like there's a very good chance we're not gonna get this fight anytime soon. Now, Errol Spence, he wanted to fight Canelo Alvarez, and I told you guys, the only way it would make sense if you weren't gonna fight Terrence Crawford is if you were gonna fight someone just as dangerous, if not more dangerous. And there's no doubt about it, if I ask everybody right now, or at least Canelo fans, who would win a fight between Errol Spence and Canelo, especially with Arrow having to move up two weight classes, everyone gonna say, are you kidding me? Spence would have no chance. So the fact that Arrow was willing to go up two weight classes and fight Canelo Alvarez, it would have been a great fight. But the problem for Arrow Spence is he's on a long waiting list because he has to wait behind all of the European fighters first. Once Canelo gets done going on his European tour, then he would probably consider fighting the welterweight Errol Spence. But it ain't gonna be no time before that. So that kind of puts Errol Spence in a bad spot because after Ugas, who else is Errol Spence gonna fight if he's not gonna fight Terrence Crawford? Right now, Terrence Crawford, he has some pretty good options. Uh, right now, he has the Virgil Ortiz fight. And that's actually a fight that Oscar De La Hoya and Bob Arum, they met and they discussed that fight for this year. So that's an option for Terrence Crawford. You still got the Sean Porter fight. That's another option. When it comes to Errol Spence, maybe you could say the Manny Pacquiao fight, there's a possibility, but there's a very slim possibility, but there is a possibility, right? 
And once again, you got Ugas. And I can't think where else Errol Spence will go from there. If it ain't going to be, because like I said, it ain't going to be against Canelo this year. And it ain't going to be against Terrence Crawford. So it's going to get to the point eventually to where Errol and Terrence Crawford are going to run out of options. Terrence Crawford still has some good opponents that he can face. But eventually it's going to come to a point to where, once again, the fans are no longer going to care who these guys are fighting if they're not fighting against each other. With all these fights that we're not going to get this year, we're going to definitely need a savior. I mean, the only big fight that I could think of that's supposed to be close to being done is Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. And it's not even a guarantee that that fight will come to fruition. So just like I keep telling you guys, this is going to be a very, very bad year of boxing if things don't pick up by the second half. Let's see what happens. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com, like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. Listen, I'm telling you guys right now, in the world that we live in today, one of the most important things in life to have is a good lawyer. And I can vouch for this one right here because this brother is my personal lawyer. So if you need any type of legal representation, if you need legal advice, if you're having problems on YouTube, on your regular job, or whatever it is, contact lawyer, mediator, and business consultant, Issa Israel's law firm. I've been knowing this man for a while, and he has been a true blessing to me, I'm telling you. He's affordable, he will work with you, but most importantly, he's not gonna just treat you like a customer. He will have your best interest. So to get in contact with him, go to iilawfirm.com or consultsglobal.com.